What's up guys? My name is Boy Shay and welcome to my channel where I talk about what I want when I want. And today's video just happens to be about astrology. Okay, now I don't just give any type of astrological interpretation. I'm giving you the spiritual interpretation of your astrological placement so you can carry it out and actually utilize what I'm telling you in your everyday life. Okay, now this is my sun series where I'm talking about the sun in the houses. This video is specifically directed to those who have their son in the 11th house. Okay, we're doing the 11th house. So if you have your son in the 11th house, what the sun is, this is representative of your ego in this life. The overall umbrella theme of your existence in the main archetype that you are working through. Okay, so depending on your sun sign, this also plays, this also explains how um, the specifics of how your son plays out in this house, okay? But the overall themes of the 11th house, if your son is in the 11th house, you are here to share your ideas, okay? You are here because the way that you perceive life or the way that you go about life, you have an unconventional perspective that enlightens others, challenges others to see things differently, um, and you are a big picture thinker. You are someone who sees the past, understands the present, and can kind of have an idea of where the future is going and conduct your life based on um, your intuitive knowing of how things are progressing and advancing, okay? Because the 11th house is the house, the, the, the house of humanitarianism. Um, and enlightening people, okay? Using your ideas to help shift um, people's perception and understanding, okay? This is the house of scientists, uh, visionaries, people dealing with the internet. You know, it's commonly known, known for networking and people who are good with, um, you know, creating opportunities for themselves as well as creating opportunities for others um, because this is also the house of activism. And when you have your son in the 11th house, you are someone who is passionate about a cause, passionate about something that most likely you had to overcome or grow grow through in your earlier formative years. And that this is what has made you so passionate about enlightening others about it, um, sharing knowledge about this, this topic, whatever you're so passionate about, okay? Um, as well as this is the house of being a part of a group or being a part of an organization or um, your soul tribe, your spirit tribe. I see this placement man manifest a lot um, with people who are teachers um, or like to, you know, public speak or share ideas or kind of someone who is orchestrating things or over something or um, a leader, a leader of change, um, or just a leader, someone who is a leader in general. Okay. Um, let's see people who have 11 house sons probably experience a lack of support in some way in their formative years. Um, meaning they had to find their path on their own. And this is also a tribute to why they're so passionate about what they're speaking about because they, are speaking from experience or teaching from experience, okay? Um, this is what makes the messages sink in with others because once again, you've experienced what you're talking about. Um, also, people who have 11th house sons are very creative, okay? Very innovative and often think of things in an outside of the box way that other people would have never considered. Um, and they are able to teach teach themselves or you're able to teach yourselves sometimes better than what the teacher was able to teach, okay? Because you find solutions and innovate, innovative ideas and ways of going about it, once again, that would have never been considered, okay? And it's like you don't even consider the normal way of doing things or normal, you don't consider the normal way of doing things or the way it's always been done because your mind is just so out of the box that you didn't even consider the normal way. Like that didn't even make sense to you. Your your way or whatever way you do it, whereas most people would be like, that's strange or that's weird or that's interesting. You're like, this is what makes the most sense. This is what works for me. Why why doesn't that make sense to you? Um, so people who have your son in the 11th house, if you take on Aquarian characteristics in the sense that 
you may feel like you don't fit in, okay? And that's because you're here to stand out. You're here to change people's perceptions, meaning that your perception usually doesn't fit in with the status quo, okay? So 12th house sons are here to push against the status quo, challenge the status quo in some way, shape, or form. And usually you have challenges that make you feel like you're not worthy of doing that, or you, you had to really fight for your voice in this life, okay? Because that is what you're here to use is your voice, okay? So you can share your ideas as well as create different things. Um, um, this could be an inventor, scientist, uh, as well as an art teacher uh, or someone who, um, film, film director, anyone who has a message that they want to share with the world and want to put out there, okay? And it's very passionate about. These are themes um, of the 11th house, okay? So challenges you may come across with your son in the 11th house is once again, lack of initial support, lack of support from others until you find your tribe or your group. Okay. You might always feel like an outcast or seem like you're weird. Um, and it won't make sense until you find the group of people who gets you, you know, and then it all makes sense as to why you had to be so different, you know, uh, why you stood out so much, why you were so different. Uh, so Saying that to say, embrace your weirdness, embrace your uniqueness, because that you are here to bring forth new ideas into this earth plane. Um, and what you're here to cultivate is the bravery to do so. OK, the gumption, the balls, the wherewithal to be like, I have a voice, I have a message and it needs to be heard. OK, um, let's see. Let's see. Do I have anything else for the 12 house sons? The, the 11th house is also the house of gains and what you stand to um, accumulate from pursuing your mission or your destiny. OK, and for this, you'll have to look at the sign to know, um, you know, what element, the, the characteristics of this sign and, and what you stand to gain. So so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, this is just the realm of ideas, intellect. You're probably a very intellectual person uh, or creatively artistic. E either way, you have a need to express yourself, express your passion, okay, and share it with many people, you know, not just one-on-one -on -one basis because Aquarius, was, is once again, it's not one-on-one, -on -one, it's humanitarian. It wants to touch as many people as possible, okay? So I believe that is it for for the 11th house son. If you are an 11th house son and you want to share your experiences uh, with having your son in the 11th house, please feel free to do so. Um, if I, if you feel like I um, missed something or left something out um, that really resonates with you being an, an, I'm sorry, an 11th house son. I'm not sure if I said 12th house before. Um, but if you want to share something that you really re resonate with as an 11th house son, please feel free to do so. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video because we're going to head on over to the 10th house. Okay. Bye.